Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongeth to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Waha Raka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahabashai. And double honors to the elder apostles of the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few brothers and sisters listening and also learning. This is going to be a basic lesson, quick, basic, and I hope it's very understand. Well, you know what? The elect are going to understand. I want to go straight to Jeremiah Baba Kasha. As you can see by this image, it's a lady. And what does this lady represent? Mystery Babylon. Okay, it's going to be very basic, very understanding. Go to Jeremiah 51. And we're going to go straight to verse 7. Babylon have been a golden cup, as you can see in this image. Okay, Babylon have been a golden cup. And what does Babylon mean? Babal, Babal, confusion. Okay, confusion. And all these other nations, they're confused. Who's pushed out that confusion? Babylon, okay, have been a golden cup. And what's in that cup? In the Lord's hand, in the Lord Jehoshaphat's hand, and made all the earth drunken. So what have they been drunken with? It's going to let you know the nations are drunken of our wine. So they're drunken with our wine. And what does the wine represent? The philosophies, the democracy. These different legislations, LGBT, same-sex marriage. Everything that's against the laws of Yahweh Shai. That's that wine. The philosophies, the religions. Okay, and made all the earth drunk, and so all the earth is under the influence of Babylon. This is how much pull they have, and the nations are drunken of her wine. So the nations have taken on the ways of America. Just look at these people. Okay, they're following the fashion, they're following the ways of America. You don't even need to be living in America to be under the influence. And how do they push that influence through the media? Through mediums, through the television, through your phone, through the frequencies. Therefore, all the nations are mad. So why are some of these nations mad now? So not all of the nations. Therefore, the nations are mad. Particular nations. Why are they mad? Because their nations have been destroyed by what? Esau, through Babylon. Destro destroying that country, setting up puppet leaders. And setting up democracy. Now these nations are destroyed. Libya was a, a, a brilliant example of that. Okay. They destroyed Libya. Okay. And so the, this is what? Part of that wine. So we're going to jump straight to. Get straight to Isaiah 47. Let's jump straight to. Get to the point. And free. Let me just start at 2. Let's see, start at 47. Come down and sit in the dust. So if you're coming down and sitting in the dust, you're being brought down to a lower state. Okay? Mourning. Lamenting. Just like when you put dirt on your heads. That's an ancient custom of lamenting. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. Okay? There is no throne rulership because America is going to be brought down. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt be no more called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill. And this is how this, this society is going to go. That It's going to be grinded down. Uncover the locks. Make bare the leg. So what happens when you're uncovering locks and you're making bare the leg? You're seeing, you're seeing a woman's secret parts. So America's secret parts are being revealed. Uncover the fire. Pass over the rivers. Their nakedness shall be uncovered. What's that nakedness? The, the, the secret societies, the wickedness that Babylon has done, slavery, all this is being brought out into the open. Thy nakedness, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. And that's what's happening. America's shame is being seen. Okay? Because you have other news agencies that are not just in America. You've got news agencies all throughout the world that are letting you know what America's about. And I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. This Yahweh, he's going to take vengeance and he's not going to meet thee as a man. He's coming as an angelic force. 
Okay. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, of armies, is his name, Yahavashai, the Holy One of Israel. So where was I? Sit thou silent, get thee into darkness. <laughs> okay. O daughter of the Chaldeans. Another word for America is Chaldea as well. For thou shalt, and it practices the same customs. And the Chaldeans, what were they practicing? Sorcery, they were into magic. Thou shalt be no more called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was rough with my people, angry, and I polluted my inheritance. Okay, because what we were given over, what, into these other nations. And that was part of us, what, being polluted. And given them into thine hands. Into what? The hand of our enemies. Thou didst show them no mercy. Esau didn't show us any mercy. Slavery and so forth. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke, thy bondage. And thou hast said, I shall be a lady forever. That's that pride. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Neither didst thou, didst thou remember the latter end of it. Okay, therefore, hear now this, thou art given to pleasures, thou dwellest carelessly. Okay, that's that mirth, joy. Thou sayest in thy heart, I am none else beside me. Okay, and that's how America thinks, that pump, that pride. I shall not sit as a widow. What's a widow? A woman that's, um, that's, um, husband as what? Died. Okay, and she's known as a widow who doesn't marry anybody else. But America is not <laughs> a widow, okay? It's a whore. Neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children, because great destruction, great calamity, great death is going to come to Babylon. And widowhood, and that loss of children, you could say it's on a physical sense when people lose children, but it's all that loss of children are going to be those that have what? That were backing America. Those that were doing deals, that's going to be that loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in a perfection for the multitude because there ain't going to be nobody to comfort her. Okay? <laughs> they shall come upon thee in the perfection for the multitude of thy sorcery, these other nations, and for the great abundance of thy enchantment. So, where does the majority of enchantments come from? Babylon. Okay? And what's enchantments? Quickly go into that word enchantment. See if we can get this up. Okay, let's go, let's go, bear me just a minute. Enchantment, divination. Enchantment is divination. It's an incantation or augury. That's why they have something called, when they have these meetings, inauguration. It's nothing but witchcraft. And another word for that is nakash. Okay? So that's what they practice. Divination on a mass level. And they push this out into the earth. And it all begins with what? Babylon. Okay? So where was I? Verse 10. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. And that's one thing you cannot trust in. Wickedness does not prevail. Righteousness prevails. Thou hast said none seeth me. So... This is what Esau thinks. None seeth. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. Because the knowledge of wickedness is not true wisdom. It's just the knowledge of wickedness. That's just going to lead to your demise. And that what? That perverts you. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am. And none else beside me. That pride again. In other words, who's going to take me down? Therefore shall evil come upon thee, and thou shalt not know from whence it rise, if it's going to come all of a sudden. And it's going to come in the form of these other nations rising up against Babylon and mischief shall fall upon thee thou shalt not be able to put it off so you're not going to be able to put it away okay just get rid of it and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly part of that desolation is going to be their missiles which thou shalt not know and you can also acquaint that with Yahweh shall come in as well because he says in an hour and a day you're not going to know stand now with that enchantments okay the sorcery and with the multitude of thy sorcery wherein thou hast laboured from thy youth. Because America, it was established of sorcery. If so be thou shalt be able to profit. Okay, the founding, uh, what's it, the founding fathers of, well, I don't want to say the founding, because they weren't really the founding fathers of America, but you understand what I'm saying? They were witches, they were warlocks. Okay, they were masons. Okay. 
And if you look at the whole structure, how everything is built in America, it's a hella Masonic. Okay? Wherein I has laboured from their youth, if thou shalt be able to profit, if so, may, be, may is to prevail. But you're not going to prevail because nobody, I have never seen nobody prevail through wickedness. Thou art worried in the multitude of thy councils, okay, these secret meetings, okay, including the G7, okay, even number 10 Downing Street, okay, and all these other meetings you have in the NATO meetings. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee, okay. So your astrologers, your stargazers that, that you're, you're, you're seeking. They're not going to save you. Okay, they're going to let you know, look, you're done. You're finished. Okay? And the prognosticators. Prognosticators is nothing but a, a foreteller of the future. You have those on the left-hand side and you have those on the right-hand side. Those that are on the right-hand side are the prophets. Those that are on the left-hand side are the wicked witches and warlocks. Okay? And this is who Esau goes to. Looking at the stars, gazing at the stars. Because Herod done this. He had stargazers. That's why when they saw that star, they knew where Yahawashai was. So it's the same thing today. Esau has stargazers that he consults to on the left-hand side. Okay? But they don't, they don't have the prophecies. They don't know the prophecies. Okay? They're, it's called divination. It's unsure. It's not sure. They're divining through what? Satan. Okay? And save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Because they're not going to save you... When these things come to pass, they're going to be scared. And they're going to realize they were deceived by Satan because Satan takes orders from the Heavenly Father. So why would you go to a witch or warlock or a stargazer or a tarot card reader? Because they don't have the answers. They're working for Satan and Satan works for the Heavenly Father. So would not, would not you want to go to the direct source, which is Yahweh Shai? But our people, they don't have any knowledge. That's why they get involved with all that mysticism. Verse 14, Behold, there shall be a stubble, America, and fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm, nor at the fire to sit before. So all these things are going to happen. Okay. Thus shall they be unto thee, with thou whom thou hast laboured, even the merchants from thy youth. They shall wonder everyone to his quarter. None shall save thee. What does it mean they shall wonder, all the merchants shall wonder everyone to his quarter? They're going to go back to their own lands. That's why it tells you in Revelations 18. Okay, when they were wailing because of the smoke of her burning, saying, Alas, alas, in one hour <laughs> is Babylon destroyed. Okay, so this is these are all prophecies, basic, basic prophecies that are telling you the end of America and the philosophy she has pushed, she has pushed out. Okay, and the people, what they're under the influence of Babylon as well. This is Ephesians, we're going to show off in Ephesians 4 and 18. 17. Wherefore, be not unwise. So the men of the Lord, we're not supposed to be unwise, but understanding. With all that wisdom, get understanding what the will of the Lord is. Do you know what the will of Yahweh is? It's to tread down his enemies and to deliver the nation of Israel. Okay? But be not drunk with wine, the philosophies. Okay? Because guess what? America, they've pushed that out as well. That's why when you go on YouTube, you've got all these different philosophies. And if you're not grounded, you're going to be taken by that because you're not grounded. We're in this excess. You can drink wine. Lord willing, I'm going to drink a bit of wine later. But be filled with the Spirit. How are you filled with the Spirit? By doing the things that are pertaining to the Spirit. That's how you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Bear me just a minute. And another example I would like to show. Revelations 90. I is it Revelations 19 and 20? Because here as well, you notice in this image, who have you got? you got the what? The Roman Catholic Church that are part of what? Re system. Re beast. Revelations 19 and 20. And the beast was taken. Okay. And with him and the, the church is part of the beast. It's not the beast as itself. And it's not the mark of the beast. Okay, it's a part of what that system, that structure. Okay, and the beast was taken, and then with him the false prophet, which represents the Catholic Church that wrought miracles before him. 
So how are they rooting these miracles through Satan on the left hand side? That's how they um what bringing forth these miracles. Wrought means to work. So they're working what miracles before him, and which he deceived them that had received the mark. Because these churches, what are they going to be pushing out? They're not telling you not to take the not to take the mark. They're actually paid. They actually compromised because they're working what for the B system. Uh, they're they're a part of it. So what they have what the spirit of what devils another spirit of deception. That's why it says he deceived them that have received the mark of the beast. Because the Catholic Church are going to be responsible by what? By leading some of the people to take the chip. And them that worshipped his image, his way of life. These both were cast into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And what's that lake of fire going to be a miracle when it's burnt up? Okay? So this, this shows you they even work what? Many signs. The seducing spirit is a spirit of Christianity. And that's why the people that are in Christianity, they have a very deceptive spirit upon them. Why? Because Babylon, they're following what? The same rules and customs of Babylon, the great. They're under that rule. It's all a part of one conglomerate. Okay? The beast is what? Under what? Babylon. Okay? How was Babylon formed? By what? The European nations. Okay? Which was also known as what? NATO. The beast. Okay, this is a very vast topic, but Lord willing, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, have I got anything else? Bear me just a minute. You know what? We're going to shut off here. And until the next time, shout out to the hopeful elect across the globe. Shout out.